Hello. In part three of lesson 12, we were assigned to create a, a, a flyer, an anniversary flyer. And these are the files that you should have downloaded. So let's load all of these in Photoshop. I'm going to click on the first one and then shift click on the last one in Bridge, and I'm going to go into the Tools menu, into Photoshop, and I would like to load all of these files into one Photoshop file in Layers. Okay, and there we go. Now the other thing that we're going to do is to create the uh, anniversary announcement itself and that will be a standard letter size eight and a half by eleven uh, since we're going to print it it will be 300 dots per inch and so we'll come in here and photoshop and do a new file and we're going to go for print and we'll choose eight and a half by eleven at 300 dots per inch so there's our two files. The first thing I'm going to do is simulate a, a textured paper. And so I think what I'd like to do is uh, find a color. Uh, let's see, about maybe right there. I'm going to press, since this is my foreground color, I'm going to press Option Delete to fill the layer. And that looks just a little bit strong. So I think I'll click on the color box here and make it just a little bit more muted. Click OK. Option Delete. It'd be Alt Delete on your PC. And now let's give it some some texture effects. So I'm going to come over here and hold my option key down and just kind of take a look at what I've got here. So that that's kind of what I'm looking for there. I'm going to grab my move tool. V as in voice is the shortcut key and I can just grab in the middle of this drag up onto my untitled document hold my shift key down I'm still holding my mouse down and let go and guess what I grabbed the wrong layer we'll need that later so let's go back and make sure I'm on the right layer when I do that again uh, click and drag keep holding it down Keep holding it down and hold your shift key down when you let go and there it is right in the center and so I'm going to uh, do a free transform which is command T and resize that it's a little bit strong and so I'm going to reduce my opacity now if you'll remember if you're in the move tool or some other uh, a non brush tool you can reduce the opacity by just pressing the numbers so 50% opacity 40% uh, you would push 4 30% uh, you'd push 3 and so forth so I think maybe about 40% looks looks about right to me and I'm going to change this from normal mode into multiply mode so that that background color comes through. One other thing that I can do, I'm going to zoom in, command plus until I reach a hundred percent. And then I'm going to go into the filter menu, into the filter gallery, and under texture, there is a texturizer. And I like the sandstone one and you can adjust how strong it looks. I don't want it too strong and how 
much relief. I don't want a whole lot of uh, relief, maybe about four or five. Um, and then click OK. And that'll give just a slight texture to that. Okay, now we have our background all ready to go. The next step would be to place our anniversary picture. I'm going to bring it up on top uh, by dragging it up in the layer. I'm going to do a free transform. Again, that's Command T on a Macintosh, Control T on a PC, and I just did Command minus to zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole document. And I want to place this about like, like so. Don't really want to cut off her fingers. So about right there. Then I'll hit the check mark or press enter. Um, again, I'm going to soften this down. If we try some of the different blend modes, that's overlay, for example, soft light, multiply, or maybe even just reduce the opacity of it. And then I'm going to add a mask. Here's your mask icon right down here. And I'll grab a brush and I'll use my right brackets key to make it bigger. And I'll hold my shift key down and use the left brackets key to make it a softer brush. So now you see I've got about a an 800 size brush. And if I use black paint, that's going to pull into that background. Now, I may want to desaturate that a little bit. So I'm going to use a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the layer below. And I can do that right here. And that's just going to only affect that layer now. And if I take the saturation down just a little bit, Maybe I'll bring the opacity up just a, a little more on that layer. And there we go. The next thing that we want to do is to bring in the background. I'm going to hold my Option key down and click on this layer. And Again, get my Move tool, click, and drag it into this image and let go. Now it came down a layer too low, but I think I got it clipped. So hold my Option key down and unclip it. There we go. And I'm going to set this to multiply mode which will get rid of all the white do a free transform and try and get that butterfly perfectly vertical there and i'll, I'll hit return now i want to have this exactly centered between the edges and one way I can do that we will go into the view menu and say I'd like a new guide and I would like a vertical guide 50 percent of the way into the page boom now I'll do a free transform and align that just like so Looks like it could use just a little bit of a tip there. There we go. Now I can come into the view menu and say clear the guides so they aren't visually interfering with me here. And 
I'm going to drop the opacity of that quite a ways. I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it just to that butterfly. I'm going to lighten it up. Click on the colorize button, <laughs> then lighten it up and choose a color that's very close to that that background there like so and then I think I'll click on that and drop the opacity even a little bit more next step is that I wanted to add this butterfly option click on that layer so it's the only one showing drag drop there we go all right again I think I will select a color range with white being the color range notice I still have some down here if I hold my shift key down and click I can start dropping it back. There we go. And hit delete and resize. Free transform. Put that butterfly right there. And I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. Increase its size just a little bit. And click OK. OK, to save you time, I've added in some text here and made sure that it was centered. Since this is a formal announcement, I decided to use centered alignment, which is very formal. Um, now I'm just looking at cleaning up things and making things work. One thing is I think this butterfly kind of interferes in the background. So that's this layer right here. I am going to take it and I think I'll free transform it and just make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to decrease the opacity just, just a little bit more. So it doesn't interfere with the text, but it still gives us the, the fill. One of the things that I think I could do just a little bit here, let me, let me grab the text. I'm going to transform both of those and I think I'll I'll pull it down just a little further and I'm trying to visually align it, align it with the butterfly in the background there. And if I want to make a composite image, I can go Command, Option, Shift, and E. On a PC, that would be Control, Alt, Shift, and E. And that makes a picture of everything below it. And one of the things I can do then is take it into Camera Raw and do some adjustments there. So what if I wanted to lighten it up just a little bit more and if I wanted to add an effect like just a, a little post crop vignetting and come in here and maybe pull up the lights even just a little bit more Trying not to blow anything out there, looking at my my indicators, and then click OK. And I think I like what's going on. 
we'll call it good. <laughs>